cactus and sucking up lovers. I'm Lynn and welcome to Desert Plants of Avalon in the north of Ireland. And in today's video is just going to be a quick update on all the Slumbergera cacti, commonly known as the Christmas and Thanksgiving cacti, that are coming into bud at the moment. And it is very early October and I'm very, very happy to say I have got signs of buds already on some of my slumber jeers. Now, I have some of these in the house, in the kitchen, which is why it sounds a little bit echoey today, because I'm in my kitchen here. And I've got a couple of the, the true Christmas cacti out in the yard. And I'm going to be bringing them in probably from the middle of October, when it, when it gets too cold. And... Uh, I'm going to show you them as well outside. But here we go. I've got a few more all on the back here with some of my other, other house plants that I have here in my kitchen. Um, as you can see, it's like a jungle everywhere. But this is just going to be about the Slumbergeras. I'm going to start off first of all with the oldest one in my collection. And um, this one is my Slumbergera truncata. That's, I don't have the complete true age of but I'm guessing it is over 70 years old and I've mentioned this one a few times in my videos because it's one that I've had now for about 16 years and I got it from my friend John when I used to live in Sligo on the west coast of Ireland he'd had it for around 25 years he then got it from a lady who'd also had it 25 years and she said it was a quite a mature plant when she got it so it couldn't be older than 70 years old but this is my most prized one in my collection because it is so special, lovely and woody, as you can see, all the lovely woody trunks, a beautiful older, beautiful old girl. And she is coming into bud, as you can see, see here, buds already. And this is sort of like the October time where you start to see the buds on these slumbergeras. And this is always exciting because obviously in October, it's pretty much as good as anyway, the end of the growing season for the, the more commonly known of the desert type of cacti. And, you know, having the Christmas and Thanksgiving cacti is wonderful because, you know, during the winter time when the desert cacti are snoring away, these lovely um, Christmas and Thanksgiving cacti will suddenly come to life with their beautiful flowers. And it's just lovely to have some cacti flowering in the winter time when all our other cacti are sleeping. And uh, there is tons and tons of buds all on this big old mother plant here. As you can see, little buds, all different stages of the bud development. Some are only just starting to come through. These are literally just pushed through the past few days because I was checking on this and I know many of you on my channel have been saying do an update on your slumber years. and I said well there's not really much happening it, there's going to be a lot more happening if I leave it a bit longer and happy to say there is buds and some buds actually quite growing quite big as you can see here Woo! and this one produces beautiful red flowers completely covered in beautiful red flowers in the winter time and I've also got seed pods as well you can see that lovely pink juicy fruit there and a lovely pink juicy fruit and these fruits were from last winter's flowering they I, I pollinated them and they it, it was a success and it does take a year or more sometimes for the seed pods to be fully ready to pick and harvest the seeds and I yes I have got seedlings from seeds from this lovely old slumbergera and I'm going to show you them in this video as well how they're doing now so these, believe it or not, might look ready for the picking, nice and pink, but they're still very firm and they need to go a little bit soft before I can pick these for the, for the seed. Even this one, still too firm to harvest just yet. But that's my oldest one in the collection, as you can see, packed with buds. And then here, over here, is a lot of, a mixture of a lot of my seedlings I've grown from seed. And um, I'm going to show you the ones I haven't grown from seed at the moment, first of all. Um, yep, this one here is my white flowering slumbergera, and uh, this one I've had quite a few years too. And there is the startings of buds coming up on this, also, as you can see there. And this is quite a big bud starting to form as well. So that is very, very exciting to see. And these, this is one of the slumbergeras, the hybrids that has the lovely big wider leaves as well, beautiful white flowers. So that's brilliant to see. And then this one here is my um, Slumbergera Thor. 
enigmas and these have sort of little smaller leaves. You can see the leaves are very different to the more commonly seen Slumbergera here as you can see. The leaves are much thinner and also a little bit more serragated as well. And uh, as you can see there, there is a lovely little flower, a little, a little buds starting to develop there. And this particular one flowers with flowers that are more like, they're much smaller than the normal Slumbergera do. They're much smaller, almost like little roses. It's quite a unique, beautiful little Slumbergera. And then uh, over here, I've got two other Slumbergeras. These are white and pink flowering as well. And these are also starting very, very early stages to show signs of buds as you can see just there. These actually do need, to, I need to give these a good watering tonight as well because I've been watering these regularly and giving them a little bit of tomato feed used at half strength. That also helps to encourage buds and blooms as well. But I need to give another water because you'll always know when they need a bit of a water because they go a little bit limp and uh, shriveled. Only three days ago I gave these water. We've had a nice bit of sunny weather and this comes get sun all at the back here. But look, there is buds growing on all of these as well. So wonderful to see. And also have lots of uh, my seedlings as well. This, for example here, this is from my Orange Brazil. This plant here is my Orange Brazil seedlings that I got from my Orange Brazil Slumbergeria, which I'm gonna show you. That one is in my bathroom. And this is almost grown as big as the mother plant and has beautiful orange flowers on it. That's also coming into bud as well, as you can see there. Lots of buds come in. Just the very beginnings of buds, but you can see them all on the ends, ends of the leaves. And the leaves, by the way, of Slumbergeras are called clades. Everyone sort of calls them leaves, but the proper word is clades because they're modified leaves. Some of my Easter cacti here. And believe it or not, I've even had have this one coming into bud. And it's not a Slumbergera um, as in the Christmas or Thanksgiving, but it's... It is the Slumbergeria ripsalidopsis, which is the Easter cactus, and that is even coming into bud. Maybe being with all the Slumbergeras, it's thinking it's a Christmas cactus, I'm not sure. But um, there is also more buds as well coming on uh, all of these here. And uh, these are or more seedlings as well. I've got a few mixed up. These ones here are also seedlings from my mother plant here, all underneath. And I've got them all onto this little sort of old wooden little trolley here and they do really well in the kitchen here and uh, more yep it's going to take you around so you can see a little bit better on here another one my other lovely slumbergera seedlings as well also from the mother plant there from the seeds and uh, now I'm going to take you outside so you can see my slumbergera buckley's the true Christmas cacti and a little bit of an update on them out there. Now this here is my Slumbergera buckley, the true Christmas cactus. And although it looks like one plant, there's quite a few different ones in here. There's a pink flowering one and a red flowering one, but I've got them both together in this hanging basket. And there are actually quite a few different ones, but there's, there's pink and there is, there's pink flowering and there's red flowering all mixed up. And you might wonder, well, how do you know the difference between Christmas and Thanksgiving cactus? Well, I've made a video about that because it's more than just the time of year that it flowers. It's also, the leaves are different, the, the clades are different, and also the flowers hang down differently as well. But if you want to know what is the difference, then do check out a video I have made on how to tell the difference between, between a Thanksgiving cactus and a Christmas cactus. And links to that video will be up above. Do go ahead and watch it after this one. Now, I have checked on this one and there's no signs of buds yet. And this is because the true Christmas cactus, the Slumbergera buckley, flowers that little bit later than the Thanksgiving cactus, hence the name Christmas cactus and Thanksgiving cactus. Because the Christmas cactus, this one usually flowers for me from the December, January, February, even into the March as the Thanksgiving cactus, such as this other one here, tends to flower anything from sort of mid-November to the December and even the January. It tends to be a little bit more early blooming. Not necessarily always, but I find with mine as well. And it has got loads of new little leaves coming on it. And uh, here you can see little baby leaves growing, but no signs of buds yet. 
in a month or two this will all be coming into bud but as you can see it's a lovely beautiful plant and this is going to be coming into the house they're not cold hardy they can pretty much take a, a greenhouse or poly if it's if it's kept about five the reason why i bring these in and i don't keep them in my polytunnel is because i do have to keep them watered over the winter months and i like to keep the humidity down as low as possible in my polytunnel so these these go into the house into the kitchen or on my hanging basket stand in, in the grow room for the, for the winter months plus it's nice to have them in the house because they flower indoors and it's nice to have the flowers in the winter time in the house to brighten up that horrible long winter and this is another one of my thanksgiving cacti slumbidio truncatus again there's about two or three different types of uh, truncata slumbidio truncata thanksgiving cactus in this particular basket i have quite a lot of different types of varieties i've got white flowering i've got pink flowering i've got orange flowering red flowering <laughs> I've got lilac flowering and purple flowering but they're lovely when they're all mixed together because when they all flower at the same time they produce the most amazing it's, it's absolutely gorgeous and this is coming into bud as well as you can see there's buds on there all on the ends buds buds quite a few buds as well so I think in this particular basket I've got white flowering I've got orange flowering I've got pink and red it's gorgeous when it all blooms together but there is buds coming on there so happy days now i'm just going to take you to show you upstairs my 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 slumber jira um the orange brazil the tendenza orange brazil it's a little bit different to my other slumber jiras oh i just want to mention as well it's, it's not a slumber jira but my zigzag cactus that i've had out here in the yard is also in bud and that's going to be blooming gorgeous it's always an autumn bloomer lovely white flowers so I'm very looking forward to that. Now here I am in the bathroom and uh, on the plant stand here I have my Slumbergera Tendenza Orange Brazil and this is a lovely wider leaved variety of Slumbergera and this produces gorgeous orange flowers in the winter time and I have checked and I do believe I can see the very, I don't know whether you can see on the camera, the very, 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 very beginnings of buds just starting to form on this one. And it has put on a lot of growth this year as well. Lo lovely sort of flesh clay, fresh clades there, I should say. Absolutely gorgeous. And uh, from what I can see so far, there's just the very beginnings of a bud forming on that end, end clay leaf there but it's going to be beautiful blooming very soon so as i say lovely to have these beauties in the house and to admire their blooms over the winter months so i hope you enjoyed that little update on my slumbergeria collection I'm really excited to have lots of buds already on these beauties and as i mentioned it's really lovely to see the blooms on these over the winter months when all our other cacti all the desert cacti are snoring <laughs> if you want to know how to grow and care for slumbergera and you want to know a little bit more about these cacti then do check out a video i've made on how to care for and grow slumbergera links to that video will be up above and do you have any of these cacti in your collection, guys? Do let me know in the comments down below. For lots more tips and tricks, then do please subscribe and click that notification bell. And also check my website out for lots of growing tips and uh, regular blogs on there and what I'm getting up to and what the cacti are getting up to. DesertPlantsOfAvalon.com I want to wish you all an amazingly fantastic cactus-powered day.